Hey guys, well, I've been a little bit busy this week. <laughs> I can't forget my camera at home though, so I haven't been able to uh, really record anything, but uh, I'm building bumpers again. I've got two on the go right now, they're twins. Um, it's for a winch, I'll be mounting the winch there and I'm gonna cut a hole in the front panel there and it's gonna be for one of those uh, low profile fair leads, not a roller fair lead. But uh, yeah, this is one of them that I got uh, done so far. I got to cut the tube there and put another tube from there and tie it into uh, this bottom plate. And it's just tacked together for now. So in case you guys are like, you didn't even weld it, man. Uh, it's just tacked together. Um, and I'll be putting a hitch receiver right underneath the winch in case, uh, in case you want to like run a snatch block off the winch to the vehicle and then back to here I'll run a I'll have a friggin hitch receiver so you can put something in there with like maybe a d-ring or something on it but uh, yeah this is one of them that I got done well not done but a good good start on I'm gonna be uh, building the base plate for the other one right now so I got a bunch of pieces cut out and uh, got it all marked up and stuff I got to fit them together gussets and whatnot and then the main main plate so, line up the stuff and give it a bit of a zap zap and uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Friggin' bought a plate of uh, 3 16 uh, 2 by 4 and cutting out all this metal. The only scrap that I've got is this so far. <laughs> and that's not even scrap, that's I can friggin'... Well, you guys know me, I'm good at uh, turning scrap metal into uh, useful stuff so anyways I'll uh, get cracking on this but uh, I'll show you guys what else I want to get done today friggin bumper on the Cummins when we were uh, out camping the first time uh, I only had friggin one weld on either side of those this is far from done I just once I put it on it I was like well it's on blah 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 and you guys know how it goes once you mount something you freaking hardly ever work on it um, if I had left this off and finished it and then put it on it would be done because <laughs> I'd be I'd be in a hurry to get the bumper on but I need it to be complete before I put it on so well you guys know the story but uh, anyways we hooked a, a toe strap up to here and uh, we broke the two welds on there, so this side of the bumper is just all loosey-goosey, flappy with the wind. I already freaking took out one of my uh, marker slash signal lights, and this is my new one. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, build a couple gussets and freaking fire them in here, and maybe try to finish it off a bit. So yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't know, I don't really like it that much. I'm debating whether or not I should just cut it off and build a new one, but I can't cut it off because then I won't have a bumper and then I'd be a freaking cop magnet. Yeah. And in case you guys didn't uh, see or know, I think I made a video of it, but uh, it didn't uh, work out so good. Uh, I did a coil spring swap on the Cummins, but uh, they're supposed to be four inch coils uncompressed they were two inches taller than my stock ones and compressed they only lifted me about maybe a quarter inch um, but anyways I put bigger tires on her I think I'm running 315 70 17s yeah with friggin cool rims and stuff but uh, I rub I rub like crazy <laughs> so that's why I was lifting her but uh, I'm building coil spacers to friggin push the or to lift the truck up but I also got to build longer control arms because every two inches of lift you go your axle moves back three quarters of an inch so yeah that's pretty much where that's sitting but I uh, singled her out yeah anyways back to bumper fab I'm gonna mount you guys on my tripod and just give her that way I don't have to stop and we're gonna be like, oh, look what I did. You guys can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this.
So these are my notes that I'm uh, working off of. You can see my bumper. Friggin' uh, just hand drew it and then I started figuring out all my measurements and different things. So, yeah, I got all my uh, tube measurements and angles and whatnot figured out here. I got the draw in there and I was gonna, that plate there, it's supposed to be this, but I friggin' I don't like how it looks, so I'm friggin' changing it. But uh, this is gonna put two holes in here for the stock holes on the frame. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen the front of a Toyota with a bumper on. And uh, I was going to put a couple bolts up top um, through the, the front cross member and just bolt it all through. But uh, I think this turned out like crap so I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to make some more. Um, this was just a piece of friggin' square tube that I hacked up. But uh, yeah, I don't like that kind so much. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. Those, those are freaking scrap, I'll figure out something else to build with those, but uh, yeah, time to get out of the tube. Now what I like to do is find, try to find a seam or something that runs full length with the bar. Uh, this will work, that's the seam. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. That uh, dark spot right here, all the way up. So I'll be lining all, I'll, uh, when I put it on the bender, I'll make sure that the seam is in the same spot on all the bends, that way it bends it square, or not square, but flat, so you don't end up with a piece that's sticking half up and it ended up being distorted and whatnot. So I'll uh, transfer all my marks onto that seam. And then Bob will be your uncle. And then it's 20 degrees and 70 degrees. So, yeah. Sweet. And I love this. I'm a freaking soapstone chalk guy. <laughs> so, yeah, I freaking love this thing. I can see what I'm cutting. And uh, it just it works really well. I like it. I like it a lot.
top piece welded on. It's slightly different than the other one, so I'm gonna have to lean it forward and friggin' tack it like that. <laughs> it's just slightly different, but the no two bumpers are going to be the same. So, throw it onto the vise and freaking weld the top bar on, and uh, Bob's real cool. This is the trickiest part. <laughs> Trying to freaking balance it, keep it straight and square, and tack all the at the same time. sitting pretty much the same stage so now it's all just custom from here <laughs> well guys I'm uh, taking a break from those bumpers for a bit I'm gonna work on securing my bumper onto the Cummins so I got to cut these brackets out these ones here <laughs> And uh, I'm going to be using my new freaking weapon of choice, good old plasma cutter. Yeah. Friggin' picked it up not too long ago, a couple weeks, I think. So, uh, or maybe three weeks, I don't know, some time ago. And uh, I'm going to be cutting them out, making a couple of gussets, and uh, weld them on. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll uh, get to it. And this thing's freaking loud and it's bright, so I'm wearing my handy dandy goggles. And my ear protection. And my gloves. I hope I got a good enough grab. Well, and my respirator. Ah! Thank you. 
Köszön. So that's a torch cut, and that's a plasma cut. <laughs> Way friggin' nicer. So I'll clean these guys up a little bit and uh, get them welded on. Right. The thing I love about the plasma cutter is it's really direct heat. Um, and there's almost no friggin' cleanup. <laughs> a little bit of grinding and you're friggin' good to go, but uh, it only, it's very, very concentrated. It's very hot. Sorry for flipping you guys off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, it's very concentrated. So the parts aren't really, they're hot, but they're not that hot. Like if this was a torch cut piece, I wouldn't be holding it right now. So I'm gonna clean them up and then uh, head over to the truck and friggin' start welding them on after I clean the truck up, of course, because <laughs> it's been sitting for a while. Take these pieces over, clap them in a vise, and give them a good freaking shine job so that uh, they can well do them properly. Yeah. All right, when I clamp stuff in a vise to face it, what I do, or not face it, but clean the face of it, I clamp it about halfway in the vise so that uh, the entire top is exposed. That way, when I'm freaking grinding it down, I don't hit the vise or nothing like that. So, anyways, here goes nothing. <laughs> go big or go home, eh? <laughs> uh, 